Hey guys, welcome back to the Sevenfold Farm YouTube channel. Today is Thursday, and usually you get to see the kids as they do a devotion. But today, I'm pitching in and I'm helping out, and I am going to do a little devotion on perspective. So it is gardening season and the strawberry patch is in full bloom. We are going out every day and we are picking and it just got me to thinking about perspective. I'm going to show you here the strawberry patch and what happens whenever we're just standing up and we're looking at it and we aren't even able to see any strawberries. You can see here, just back and forth, you see lots and lots of green. But the thing is, is whenever we get down on a different level, we're able to see strawberries. There's a different perspective that is provided for us, and we see the red. And even sometimes we have to dig down in here, and we have to move some things, and we have to really, really look a little bit harder and then we're able to see what it is that we came here looking for. Probably a little bit confused about how this has anything to do with perspective, but it really has to do with our relationships. And I notice that a lot of times we are so quick to pass judgment on other people whenever we're standing at a certain spot in our own lives and then something happens with somebody else and we're quick to pass judgment on them because we can't see things from their perspective. One of the things that comes to mind here um, recently is the school shooting that happened down in Texas and it didn't take any time at all for people to take something so tragic and start placing blame. The school got blamed for not locking their doors. The police officers got blamed for not going in soon enough. Um, the gun even got blamed. Like there were just so many people that were so quick to not try and see it from a different perspective. And they were so quick to pass blame and to pass judgment on everybody else. And it's just so unfortunate that in society, that's the way that we do things. It's so much like this strawberry patch that whenever I'm standing up and I'm looking down at my strawberry plants, I can't see the actual fruit that is being grown. But whenever I squat down and I look below the leaves and I look below the level, I am able to see more of what is going on in my patch. It also reminds me of a scripture that um, I believe it's Mark 7 verse 3 that says, you're so quick to point out the splinter or the speck of sawdust that's in your neighbor's eye when you have a big old plank or a big old log in your own eye. I was listening to a podcast last week and it really struck me one of the little quotes that um, the person said and they said, differences are inevitable but division is a choice. And that is so very true in the world that is around us today, that differences are inevitable. And quite honestly, I'm glad that there are differences. How boring would it be if our entire life was full of people that were just like us and thought just like us and acted just like us? I am thankful for the differences, even within my own family, of all the different individual personalities that each one of my children have. And my husband, I don't want a clone of myself. I don't want to be married to a clone of myself. So I'm thankful for those differences. But if you take those differences a step further and you move to division, division is a choice. Division is where we have to decide, are we just going to have our differences or are we going to allow the division to separate us and the division to get in the way of the relationships that we have with people? Maybe the next time something happens that we may not agree with, are we going to continue to look at the strawberry patch standing up and looking down our nose at the leaves? Or are we going to squat down and are we going to kind of push the leaves aside? And are we going to say, you know what? I'm trying to see it from a different perspective. I choose differences, but I don't choose division. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe and have a blessed day.